It's 642 now on First Edition. I'm Tim Hole with Terry Travis, and it is Bicycle Built for Tuesday. And with our weather turning wetter and colder, that usually leads some of us to stick our bikes in the garage or under the stairs until it's spring again. But you don't have to do that. And joining us live in studio, Kelly Eicher with the Bike Gallery to share some secrets of wet winter riding. Hey, Kelly, thanks for coming into the studio this morning. Yeah, good morning. So one of the first things I think we're concerned about, both Terry and I are, are bicycle riders, is is wet roadways, wet brakes. It, how do you make it just safer to be out on the road when it's wet? Well, you want to make sure that uh, you're going to avoid those big piles of leaves this time of year. You never know what's going to be underneath the piles of leaves, and uh, you never want to be riding through any kind of big mud puddles that uh, you can't see the bottom of. Uh, they actually do make uh, some uh, brake pads that are designed specifically for wet weather riding, which is uh, really good for our climate. Yeah, I've had a few encounters with leaves over the last couple of weeks where you, you're used to the road being dry all summer, and then all of a sudden you come up to the stop sign and you put on the brakes and, you know, uh-oh. <laughs> you know, it so keeps guess, you awake, doesn't yeah, it? <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess just be careful, I guess, is probably one of the, the first rules of winter riding. So, Kelly, are you actually advocating swapping out your brake pads when uh, this kind of weather comes around? If you ride a lot in the wet, uh, wet conditions, it's definitely worthwhile. Uh, the brake pads will last longer and uh, they actually will give you a better, uh, better stopping power. We've gone back and forth here on the show talking about rain gear and whether or not you need it. Is a full get-up necessary? Is Are all those expensive? Don't they make you sweat a lot? I mean, what's the best advice you got for the uh, for the winter rider? Well, the the more you spend, the drier you will be. I guess that's that's <laughs> one, one equation. Uh, there are a lot of great fabrics out there that do have a lot of breathability to them and still have good wet weather uh, capabilities. You know, it's worth spending the most money on your jacket out of all the about out of all the pieces that you're going to wear. Something with a really good <clears throat> laminate fabric that is breathable uh, will we'll do the trick. So that's what you should ask for when you go in. I mean, what is it you should look for? A couple of tips there. Uh, you you definitely want something that's not going to be a coated nylon or uh, you know. Uh, uh, like a, a rubber suit of some sort. You definitely want something that has a high quality, high breathability, uh, wet weather fabric. Uh, jackets, pants, uh, a lot of people wear tights in this type of weather. And uh, shoe covers. Shoe covers are very important. Uh, my advice is if you're, if you're commuting, you want to have a pair of dry socks waiting for you at work every day. That does sound nice. <laughs> <laughs> How do you layer up uh, without looking like the Michelin man? Well, you, when you go out the door, you should be just a little bit cold. You shouldn't be really warm when you take that first step out the door. That way it'll minimize how much sweating you're going to do on the way. So use a base layer uh, and and uh, just have the shell on the outside that is the, the waterproof shell. And uh, just make sure that you're not really, really warm when you when you start riding because you're going to warm up pretty quick. Talking, and, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Terry. No, go, go ahead. Okay. Well, we're talking live with uh, Kelly Eicher from the Bike Gallery on how to keep riding when it's uh, wet and wintry outside, and it's dark, too. I mean, that that's yeah. a big issue this time of year. What's the best, what's your recommendation for the number of lights and how to best light yourself up? You can never have too many lights. I, I would advocate for more than one tail light for sure. Uh, and if you're, if you're riding at night and you actually need something to see with, have, have a light that you can see with and then supplement that with a flashing light as well. I'd recommend lights day and night. If you think about it, motorcycles are required by law to have a headlight uh, day and night, and yet cyclists are smaller than motorcycles and aren't required to have that headlight, and that headlight can make a very big difference. I was wondering, too, about winter riding, because once it starts getting colder, you, there's the possibility that you might run into some ice on the roads. Um, tires. Are there some tires that are better than others? There are tires that are better than others. They actually make tires for wet weather riding. They might give you a little bit better grip in, in the ice, but nothing's going to give you the grip like a studded tire. And believe it or not, they do make studded tires for bikes, only for mountain bikes at this point. But mm -hmm. you can get tire chains and studded tires for mountain bikes. And I'm, I'm guessing they help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I would hope so. <laughs> they actually do. The wider the tire you have, the better your chances are of uh, staying upright. It, now, I mean, with the studded tires for a bicycle, is is it kind of like studded tires on a car that 
well, they may not necessarily be the best thing for the pavement or useful when it's dry out, but they will come in handy when it's wet or slippery. Yeah, definitely not for wet or slippery. Definitely more for icy and okay. snowy. Got it. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, uh, it's it's kind of a you, you and I were talking before we started the segment that it's it's kind of a, a slow time of year for you guys. So you would be happy, I guess, if anybody brought your their bike in for a a quick overhaul. Because I guess if you're going to stick the bike under the in the garage or under the stairs, now would be a good time to have it tuned up and ready for spring. Exactly. Just like the lawnmower business, you want to make sure it's ready to go when you're ready to go in the spring. So bring it in in the off season keeps our guys busy, which is always good. All right. Cool. Are, are you riding to work at all these days, or are you too busy for that? <laughs> <laughs> I've been a little busy, unfortunately. <laughs> Going too many places all over town. Well, very cool. Well, Kelly, thanks so much for coming in studio this morning. Really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Kelly Eicher, Bike Gallery, with us on Bicycle Built for Tuesday. You can follow them on Twitter at Bike Gallery PDX. They're on Facebook, facebook.com slash bike gallery, and at bikegallery.com.